Hey everyone, Chad from Soundflow here, and I'm here to talk about an update to the track control for Pro Tools package. So previously, this package was five tracks that you could control the record enable, input monitoring, soloing, or mute status on, and you would just dictate which five tracks you wanted, you would set up the grid, and that was really powerful in that form. But we have a lot of tracks and we need more tracks. So we have updated the app to use meta commands, which allows us the flexibility to have as many tracks as we want. And like, for instance, I'll show you the super surface where you could just have, you know, 12 by 12. This is just a customizable custom size. You get this by clicking on size here when you're designing your deck. So instead of XL or whatever, you can just do custom size and then say you want 40. Um, I actually don't know if 40 will work. Maybe there is a, a 20 will work. Okay, don't, don't do 40, but you can do 20 by 20. So that's, that's enough. So uh, back to <laughs> the package. This is the package. So this comes with a couple of preset decks for you. This will look really familiar. This is exactly like the uh, old one. Uh, this one will be, you know, five by four. So now you have all four functions for those five tracks. And each of these buttons are just tied to these uh, presets over here, which we'll kind of walk through how to set, set those up. Also of note, there is the talkback deck, which a lot of people have asked for a talkback functionality with Soundflow, and this is it. It's awesome. Um, it is one button that will toggle talkback on and off, and we will explain that in a little bit. So how do, how do you set this up? So these uh, these are just uh, template properties like we've talked about in other videos. So in order to make a new one, we would go here or we'll go to here and say new preset and say, we're just gonna call it test. And then we're gonna go to our session and say we want this to be the mix. And then we can choose whether we want it to do mute, solo, record enable, input monitoring, or, um, and then we can also set whether it toggles whether it sets to on, whether it sets to off, or whether that functionality is momentary. So with like the talk back, we want it to momentarily, you know, m mute and unmute so that we can talk to the artist or the client. So let's see some of this in action. So over in a post-production setup in Pro Tools. So this is the deck. So I'm gonna show it on the screen here just cause it's a little easier. We'll also show it on this stream deck here so that you can see you know that it does reflect on the stream deck as well so all, already you can see that the uh record enable light is flashing the mutes are on that's all great we can go through and unmute a couple of things if we want to if we were to solo something you can see that the mute state is actually reflected on here the same way it is in pro tools which is beautiful and then if we have these muted great can go into input monitoring. Yeah, all super intuitive, functional, great stuff. A lot of post-production users have asked us about PEC direct style monitoring. So we're going to show you how that works with this. So let's go to preferences, turn on PEC direct style input monitoring. And then now all of our input monitoring buttons have turned to D for direct. So in PEC direct mode, D is actually when you're, you know, recording from the bus and the P is when you're re re playing back the, the stem. So if you know what Pectrek is, you know that already, but um, that is just for the lay people. Here we go. So Pectrek, we also have access to the advanced record mode. So track punch, destructive punch, those will flash blue, which is really great. And then if we want to go and record a specific track, we can do that and uh, drop into record like so, and just bounce around in and out of record. And that is beautiful. So that is post-production, <laughs> really powerful. I think that you, you all will get a lot of use out of it. And I'm gonna hop over to a music session now to kind of show what that looks like. All right, so for a music session, this is a little simplified. It is primarily just, uh, you know, mutes and solos for stems. 
So we have our mutes here. We can go through and see all of those options. We have can solo out any of these. This is, you know, all perk, all drums, that kind of thing. And uh, another really great aspect of this is if we were to solo save anything, that is actually reflected as well on the decks. So talk back. So I, I said we would get through how, how this is set up in, in a little while. Let's talk about it. So for mute style talk back, you want it to momentarily turn off the mute and um, otherwise, you know, have the mute on so that the client isn't hearing everything in the control room. So we have this talk back track here. And if I were to hold down mute then, or the mute button, the talk back button, it'll unmute it. And then immediately once I release that, it will mute the track again. So I can go through and hit that again. And beautiful, that's great. And then also some people would prefer to use the input monitoring style. So this will momentarily turn on input monitoring for the track instead of um, turning off the mute kind of, you know, different sides of the same coin. But the way this works is if I want to engage input monitoring momentarily, I can just press and hold and now I'm talking to the client and then I release and I'm done. So great. And yeah, that is the track control deck. It is really powerful. It's very flexible and I can't wait to see what everyone does with it. So thank you so much.